There is a life I lead in this city Hurry in to cut my teeth I can take what I need to get by It doesn't make it easy The other piece of my heart moves so Somewhere in the great unknown When I return from the afterglow Will you carry me like I am not a bad stride on the kid. He's got long legs. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> She's finally got the boots on. I want it all. I had a feeling, but the feeling is all gone. Wait. Hold on. Put me together. Take me back where I belong. What's up guys? Yay! Welcome back. If you have been with us for a while here on our channel, you would know that we are Sean and Ash and we're converting this school bus into our first home. Um, on wheels. Yeah. We started about two years ago almost and we are finally nearing the end of this building journey. So today we're really excited to share with you the install of one of our most I guess awaited features of the bus are countertops. We decided to go with quartz countertops in our bus. We went a little more on the pricey and the heavy side of things. Yeah. How does it make you feel? Articulate that? I can't wait till you guys can see this. It looks amazing. A couple weeks ago, I went to a stone place and they showed me some pieces of remnant of quartz and marble. The remnant pieces are like bigger pieces of stone that were used in another home. You can get the piece of stone at a cheaper price because it was already used for another job. I saw a few pieces of like totally white quartz. I saw some cool pieces of like black and white marble and everything was really cool but I wasn't seeing what I wanted until I saw this beautiful pizza. pizza. Saw so a beautiful pizza sitting right there. <laughs> so I saw this beautiful piece of quartz sitting there. It was tucked away in the back and like the light had just <laughs> like happened to be hitting it out of like one ray of sunshine. And she was like, what's that one in the back? And it was sparkling. It happens to be sitting in our bus now. We worked with a company that installs countertops into regular houses and kitchens. Their first trip, they came and visited us at the bus and they took measurements for our piece of stone. And then the second time around, we actually brought the bus to them, which I guess is not typical of if they were doing it in a house, but we were able to bring the bus to them and they installed the countertops yesterday. We can't wait to show you guys how it came out. Our sink is installed. Our stove is officially installed. Check yeah. this piece out. Check it out. Six hours for a full set. Oh, okay. <laughs> I really think it's like a very unique piece. I don't know. I mean, you guys see these things all day, but. And the way they make this, it's like, it, it's man-made, like it's compacted, right? The quartz? Um, this is actually made the same way that make cheese. Oh, really? How does so, that work? So the owner of Cambria actually owns Bisco. Yeah. Which makes craft cheese. The horse factory opened up and shut down, down the road from their cheese factory. So they bought it, opened it back up. And before, they got in the business, you didn't have all the patterns in the course. It was just like very plain. Yeah. It looked like just stone glued together. Right, right. Um, so then they took their process of how they make cheese, the, the marbleization, and they just incorporated into this because this is just poured, it's crushed up quartz, poured into a resin, and they pour it in a slab and bake it. So what wow. they do, they, they just pour the, your base color, then you know they just pour your different colors in between to make patterns. Right, so you can essentially design your own piece. 
I got enough money. <laughs> I mean, they made a tribute color to Prince. It, like, if you think of Prince, that's what this stone looks like. Purple, black, white, gold. I love it. You were right on with that. Done this a few times. <laughs> I'm jacked up. Yo, yo, yo. What up? Here at the bus again. Wanted to go over these countertops a little bit and this outlet, which is bothering me more and more every time I look at it. So what happened was we had set it down too low and we had to have them notch this out in order to get it in. What I'm gonna do now is there's a nail holding this in coming from this side. I turned off the breaker and I'm gonna cut that nail, notch out this piece and move this outlet up, probably using like shims or something. Have it set up here and then we're gonna actually have a piece of molding, something like this that sits along this nice sanded piece. Or I'm not really sure what we're gonna do exactly, but that's the plan. Using some power tools here, we got old Sawzall, which I think is from the 1800s. This is gonna be fun. I'm kind of intimidated by the job. Hey. Let's do this. What's up, baby? And we've also lost the tripod. I measured what a standard outlet cover is and it's four and a half inches. I'm gonna measure to where four and a half inches is. And then I'm gonna add three quarter inches for our molding. And uh, the outlet's gonna sit like up here. So I'm gonna take a pretty significant amount of stuff off. Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna fix our mistake. You can fix anything with a little can-do attitude. Just really hoping I don't cut a wire or anything. Bought these and this at Walmart today. I didn't realize Walmart had so many so many tool options. We've got it raised. I just need to figure out how I'm going to secure this and get it in straight, obviously. So I'm probably gonna put some shim. I don't know how I'm gonna fit anything underneath that. I'm gonna have to go from up top, actually. So I'm gonna have to put something underneath here. I gotta give a give a big shout out to Brendan LaCourt. He is a stand-up guy. He's also my brother, so I have to say that. I was content with where the outlet was, but he was like, all you gotta do is cut the nails, cut out of the wood there so you can move the outlet up. And I was like, you know what? You're probably right. He's like, yeah, saws all do it. And I was like, wow. The old great stuff. Oh. We just wait till everything settles, clean that all up, and hopefully it doesn't move. Other than paint, the cabinets, countertop, Done. finito. Ashley wants to make popcorn. As you guys can see, we have been pretty busy. Um, it feels like ever since we got the Ikea cabinets in, we've been making good progress with the kitchen. It's been a process. The stove is awesome. We got a stove from Greystone. Previously, we wanted one from Furion, which is a pretty high-end RV appliance store. It was very expensive, I want to say over $700. Ooh. And I really wanted something stainless steel because we already had a stainless steel sink. She was right on. Out on a limb, we ordered this Greystone stove and one came to our house. And the first one that came, I don't think 
Maybe we have footage of it somewhere. But it looked like somebody threw it down a flight of stairs. <laughs> the whole glass was shattered, was bent and smashed. There was dents in the front. There was, this piece was hanging off. But they were awesome enough to send us back. I the website for the Greystone stove and a lot of other RV products is Flare Distribution. I contacted them after the stove was smashed and I sent them pictures and this one was literally at our front door two days later. One thing that's awesome about this stove is that it has the glass top, which is pretty common in most camper oven combos. You just lift this top piece, fold it back, and then it kind of acts as like splash resistant splash for anything that goes up while you're cooking. You have three burners, which is awesome because we can be doing a couple things at once. Sean loves to cook. I love to cook for Ashley because she loves to eat. Inside, little mini stove, but it's perfect for the two of us. It's perfect to bake something. We can easily cook like a small chicken. I don't know, other things that you bake. We could bake brownies. We can make brownies. We could make a little cake. I love it. It's already set to go. Like it's set up the gas and everything. Yeah, all of these cabinets are awesome. They're these soft clothes, really nice drawers. Please don't come at us about our paint job right now. I <laughs> have been waiting to do our second coat until everything's done in the kitchen so that we don't get more scratches and I have to do it again. Don't say anything about the scratches. Just pretend it's all green. This is our beautiful quartz countertop. We went with quartz because it's very durable. You don't really have to do anything to take care of it. It's really scratch resistant, heat resistant. A lot of people have been asking us like, oh, aren't you worried about the weight? We're really not that worried because this bus is graded to hold a lot of weight and we're really not anywhere close to that. When Wade was bringing it in, I was like, how much do you think that thing weighs? He's like, maybe a hundred pounds. That's it? It's literally nothing. That's like oh. two middle schoolers. Not even. That's okay. like one middle schooler. Yeah. Where are you Plus, getting to that? over to the sink. Yeah. This little countertop came with this sink. And what's really interesting about this sink. This is our faucet, by the way. We'll show you that in a couple weeks. It's dirty. But what's interesting about our sink is that it has these two ledges. So you can set things down inside of it. And drying it came rack. with this basket, like a drying rack. Either dry your silverware or like your vegetables in here. And then it has this cool cutting board that if we just set it down in here, you can just kind of continue and it makes the countertop that much bigger. So the reason I wanted a undermount sink really bad was because I love the idea that you can just throw things in mm. and even though you can do that with an above mount sink like stuff getting stuck in that little crease so this is just perfect Mwah. it's exactly yeah. what i wanted the old gunk trail yeah we're gunkless is it raining oh i better get that saw there is a life i lead in this city Hurrying to cut my teeth. I can take what I need to get by. Doesn't make it easy. The other piece of my heart I'm so somewhere in the great unknown. Guys, thank you so much for watching and seeing our entire kitchen put together in the past few weeks. If you've been a part of this build since the beginning, I know that you must be looking forward to the end just like we are. Don't worry, we have a four month countdown for our very first takeoff. We are driving north this summer. Can't wait to take you along with us. If you're looking forward to that first excursion with us, make sure that you subscribe and come along for the ride and we'll see you there. Take me back where I belong I want it all I had a feeling but the feeling is all gone